Okay. All right. Here we go. It's, it's, this is crunchy. You can walk on this part. See this? See the little spots there? There we go. Okay. This is the uh, first time Memo's been out uh, since the snowstorm. So she and I are going to go have some crawfish. Tina said she didn't feel like it. She's tired. And so we're trying to get to the car. Okay, Mom. Let's look here. All right. Okay. Okay, we're going for crawfish. And uh, I think Mom's going to eat, peel them and eat them, shrimp. Uh, these these folks bring in all kinds of stuff. They have uh, alligator. They have, uh, uh, yeah, they got alligator. And they got, yeah, they got alligator. Yeah. And they got, uh, of course, crawfish. That's what I'm going after. And um, all shrimp, uh, oysters. And the oysters are, are still alive, even. Uh, have them on the half shell, so. Are we ready? Well, I'm not. I've got to adjust all these windows. Oh, that's because I've been driving. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. All righty. So we'll uh, try to see what we can't uh, do here. And... Uh, Now you're gonna have a little bit of snow and ice out here on the. Uh, can you see? Yeah. Okay. You running off the driveway? Am I on the pavement? Yeah, just turn your wheels to the right. Turn your like wheels to the right. Oh, okay. Like this so I can okay. See. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I like that better. Like I said, once we get out of the yeah. driveway and get out here, the yeah, roads are all clear. It's just a, right it's just because the driveway's doors. covered in ice. Because so. I can see how close I am to there. We go. All righty. Now we're doing good. Yeah. Yeah, mom even had to spend her birthday in uh, in the house because it uh, it was snowy. And uh, you want to tell us how old you were, mom? That's okay. I'm seventy one. <laughs> seventy one. All right. Okay. Good deal, man. She's driving. <laughs> You're right. Oh, nice. You're right. <laughs> There's our neighbor checking her mail. Oh yeah, you got it. You got it, mate. You got it, mate. You got it, mate. I'm making her freeze today. You ain't gonna splash her. <laughs> okay, kind of look, see what you got coming, and if you ain't got nothing, just kind of go on out, and that way you can get out of this thing. You're good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. There you go. All right. Now, see. See, the roads are clear. See, look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Be good until it just gets warmed up in here. We'll be all right. All right. Use a little cheap handheld tripod thing, and it, it, it's not real stable. It wants to wiggle around. I don't know why, but. Okay. So uh, it's about 20 miles, guys. So we're not going to sit here and record the whole 20 miles, but uh, we can start getting a little closer. And uh, I may kind of sneak in the little uh, GoPro when we go inside, so that way you can see what uh, what we're going to be eating and uh, what we're going to get. Uh, Tina, like I said, didn't feel like going because she had worked on the route today. So uh, we're going to bring her back some uh, crawfish gumbo. And uh, this is, uh, like I said, this is really good eats. And uh, I think last year, Tina and I probably ate at least 30 pounds of these crawfish, so don't forget to turn. Here we go. All right, we're here now. It's the Cajun Cafe. And uh, we're going to try to get in the door here without falling, if we can. Got to hold on to Mom. She won't fall down. No, oh, you got the locks. It is slick, bro. I mean slick. Super slick. Sun's been shining on this stuff and it is just slick as it can be. So I'm gonna take and turn the camera off. Alright, good deal. Okay. I know what I want. She knows what she wants. Oh, wow. We know we know what we want. Awesome. <laughs> that works. Yeah, good deal. So, what, what is the market price today on the cooked crawfish? $5.99 a pound. Same, same thing with just mm -hmm. okay, uh, I don't want the Three and a half pounds with all the other. No I don't want. No, I don't want none. What I want, I just want four pounds. Got it. Okay. And if you don't mind, would you ask them if they will take up some re dip? They did it for me last year, re rinse them. Cause it, I mean, I it just burns my mouth. Okay. okay. So you don't want the seasoning on them? I want. I, I want to season them, but I think right. what they, I think what they do is they take what they got back there and they just put them back in the water. Redip it. Redip it yeah. to get some of it off. Yeah. And then y'all get some of it off. And yeah. she wants two pounds of peeled and shrimp, cold. 
Scottish. Okay. No corn, then, no potatoes? No corn, no potatoes. And uh, then I'll have one, uh, uh, you got like a crawfish gumbo, don't you? For the etouffee. Etouffee, isn't that the yeah, same yeah, thing? Yeah. It, it, it's what it is. Get the it's rice. It's a little bit thicker. A little bit thicker. Okay, we'll, we'll probably get one of those to go when we get ready to leave, okay? Sounds good. All right, thank you. Yeah, you want a bowl of it right to go? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, we'll have it come, yeah, right. just to, yeah, just want to go. Thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. Okay, sweet tea. And it's a little cold in here, guys. I hate to say that. And I've got my sunglasses back on because the snow is glaring through this window and I can't see very well because most of you know that I had cataract surgery in my left eye, but my right eye is not and I, I can't hardly see the table when the, I have glare like that. So anyway, it'll be a few minutes now before she comes with our order and I'll turn this off. And when she comes back, then uh, you'll see what we get. Okay, well, she uh, brought them back and uh, I was going to wash my hands, so I missed it. But, uh, just look at that, look at that shrimp. Ooh, ooh. Golly, my last two pounds of paper bonito shrimp. All right, this is four pounds. Four pounds of crawfish. Now, where do you start? The first thing I want to tell you a little secret is, is that if the tail is not curled, it means the crawfish was dead before they cooked it. And you don't want to eat uh, dead crawfish that's been cooked. So, different techniques. This is the way I do it. Twist it, pull it out. Ooh. Pinch the tail. And that's it. Ooh, my lips on fire. I don't want to eat these with chapped lips. It might be the problem because it's so cold and I got chapped lips. <laughs> I got all these spices. Um, like I say, guys, I pretty much finished that off. Now I'm going to try to help mom. All right, guys, we're heading to the checkout. Okay, we're back on the road. We're finished now. Mom ate so much, she embarrassed me. And uh, But she did bring home probably about, I don't know, maybe a half a pound. She ate about a pound and a half of that shrimp. I'm, I'm guessing, I don't know. But uh, I put a pretty good whoop on uh, four pounds of uh, crawfish. But we had a good time. We smell like uh, shrimp and crawfish. Uh, you will going into that place. It's, when you go in, it's not, it's not an odor like a uh, restaurant, you know, a uh, fish restaurant it's like a fish market because all the crawfish and everything's back there alive so and they do process a lot of fish catfish and stuff like that for restaurants so you get that kind of lingering smell after you're there a few minutes you don't notice it I'm sure if uh, anyone was in the car with us right now they would be able to notice it real well uh, but uh, no I don't smell it on my hands too bad I think they got a pretty good soap but uh, you smell it <laughs> oh, that's right. She didn't wash her hands at the bucket. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's good food, let me tell you guys. It's good eating. I'll be doing some more of it over the next uh, few weeks uh, until the season runs out. But uh, we got Tina some uh, etoffe, I think is how you pronounce it, etoffe. Uh, and uh, it's a kind of uh, old crawfish tails and uh, rice and all that stuff. So... It's, it's pretty good stuff. So, all right. Well, I'm going to shut it off and uh, maybe when we get closer to home.